right, Mr. Pants, I'll let you out. I'll let you out. Go ahead. Wait for me though, okay? Guys, how are you doing today? My name is David Franco and welcome to the weekend of Vlog T Vlog. Uh, it, it's Thursday. It's actually Thursday. No, I've not lost my mind completely. But as I told my patrons, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to start the weekend vlog early this weekend uh, because I'm here. I'm not usually here on Thursdays. I'm here to help my parents build their autonomous L-shaped smart desk. Now I think they just call it the autonomous smart desk corner. I'm not sure. But if you are interested in autonomous, check out my affiliate link right below. You can save money. I can save money. So enjoy. And thank you so much. Hey guys, let's let's be honest. Most of my weekends are now spent, you know, streaming, eating, and sleeping. And I'm not even joking. That's pretty much all I do on the weekends now. I'm just so passionate and so dedicated with uh, streaming. It, it just it just means a lot to me, and I it really enjoy putting the time in. Um, so I figured, you know, to prolong this weekend vlog, why not vlog this experience now? My parents are next door right now in the main house. Um, they ha they have somebody over right now, right there. That's their company car, I guess. Um, is that Bob? Oh yeah, Bob was cutting Lejeune's yard. Nice, it's nice of him. That's a neighborly thing to do. Like a good neighbor, Bob is there. <laughs> sorry, it's horrible. Anyway, they're working on like a bathroom rehab kind of thing where they're completely redoing the upstairs bathroom, which should be great. Uh, so props to my parents, man, they've been putting a lot of work and a lot of time into this house. Uh, well, because this is a fixer-upper house. It's literally from the 1800s, guys. 1800s. This house, not so much. The carriage house, fun fact for you, in case you didn't know. I mentioned this years ago. The carriage house actually had a major fire before I moved into it. Um, so this carriage house is ironically newer than the main house. But even with that said, I'm, I, I don't miss this house really at all honestly i don't it's just just too small the floors are slanted i can't stand slanted floors especially with my setup and all that stuff but uh anyway while they're next door doing that i'm gonna get started and um unpack all these pieces and in case you didn't know if you do order this same exact desk the autonomous smart desk corner it comes in three separate packages this came a couple days after these two. So these these boxes contain all the hardware, you know, like the screws, the motors. The motors themselves are very, very heavy. The legs, all that stuff. And this is obviously the main platform uh, portion. Actually, two portions. And they were in a huge, huge box. So that's our main thing that we're doing today is building the desk. And of course, we're going to go down the street to Pizza City, bring back a pizza and make it like a pizza party of some sort. So it's going to be a good weekend. Let's do it. Hot sir. There you go. Boy, you're so brave. I just said it because he, he's getting old and he doesn't have the greatest hips. So usually I have to help him down. But because I was vlogging, he took it upon himself and went down himself. So props to Mr. Pants. All right, enough procrastinating. Let's get these boxes open. I am very, very excited for my parents because this is my favorite desk of all time. I love it so much. And mine is truly a smart desk. Not only is it autonomous in the sense that I can choose the height. And yes, truthfully speaking, I don't use it as a standing desk really all that much. But for those video situations slash scenarios when I do need to stand, then I can, which is awesome. But with that aside, my desk is still very smart because if you look over here, the desk does indeed have grommets. I actually took both of these out on mine and I put some Amazon uh, not actually I don't think they're Amazon basic but there's some kind of brand I found on Amazon which basically gives me a power uh, outlet on each one as well as two USB ports on each one so it kind of is like a smart desk and of course I have lights on the bottom of my desk which come on every day between I think like 6 and 7 p.m. and if you want those lights Govi lights. I love Govi. Think of it as like a cheaper Hue brand because they're just so fantastic. The smart app is actually brilliant. Like it's not your typical cheap LED um, iOS app. It's actually a great app. So guys, I'm going to link those lights right below. Treat yourself. I think you can get a typical set for what? $25 to $30. And honestly, I've purchased the same set one, 
two, three, I think four times now. And I think I'm going to buy a fifth set, maybe as early as tonight, because I definitely want to put lights underneath my streaming PC and my gaming PC desk. Because don't forget, my PCs are now separate from my setup. So that corner right now is a little on the dark side, and I would like to automate those lights alongside the lights underneath the um, other autonomous desk. Not the L-shaped desk. Keep in mind, I have two different autonomous setups, uh, my office and my gaming room. I just I just love the brand. Yes, they raise their pricing big time. I'm guessing it's because of demand, uh, but hey, it is what it is. You can still get autonomous desks so much cheaper than you can from their competition. This sounds sponsored. It's not. I wish it was. Okay, less talking, more opening. That's me opening and talking, so I don't know the difference between, okay, let's go. I guess I'll just grab these scissors. This is what's so ironic about mom's work. She, she takes these beautiful designs, right? And then she distresses them or de-stress or stress. I, I, I forget the word. Well, I'll just ask her later. But yeah, from that to that. It's just funny how people like that worn out design. I mean, I do, I do. But if it were my choice, I would just go with this one probably. You know, we always joke about like, how much weight can this carriage house truly hold? Between this and the Glowforge and everything else my mom has in here, I, I honestly wouldn't be shocked if this carriage house needs like a foundation boost. All right, so this is not as heavy as that one. I think that's the one with the motors in it, but I don't know, let's check, it's been a while. Oh, and if you guys are interested in watching my autonomous desk process video, like of building it and opening and all that stuff, that's also linked right below. You got, you guys have a lot of links to click this week, apparently. And yes, there will be a quiz at the end, so pay attention. All right, let's see what's in here. Ah, I was wrong. So the motors are in here. Yo, check out this presentation. This is so nice. Now keep in mind, I have purchased numerous of these so-called cheap desks off of Amazon. And guys, I gotta tell you this. There's a fine line between a cheap desk on Amazon and something you get from Autonomous. Look at this presentation. It is so nice, so, so nice. So we have the two motors over here, which are very heavy, actually, no, wait, oh yeah, three motors, I'm sorry, three motors. I'm just used to my L my rectangular smart desk. Which is funny, because I have the same desk, it's just been a while since I built it. That is a scary angle. Anyway, we get three motors, that's right, three motors, which is pretty incredible if you think about it. Three motors to drive a single desk. This thing is a work of art. So that's motor number B, or letter B rather. And this one is, let me see, my guess is C. Oh, A, okay. And it's one or the other, right? Okay, let's put that against the wall. And obviously this one is C. Mm, C, senor. Oh wait, no, this is A. Okay, so there's two A's. Okay. And we got all these metal pieces, the brackets. And by the way, it's not a hard desk to build, but I will say it took me a few hours to do mine because, well, one, I, I was vlogging it. So, you know, like anytime you vlog an experience, it's going to add hours onto the experience uh, because of shooting and editing, not editing, but like all the different camera placements and me talking, blah, 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 blah. I love to talk. And two, um, you know, the actual process itself. So with those two combined, if you're a vlogger, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But if you're not a vlogger, you should be able to build this desk either by yourself or with a friend or family member within one to two hours on average. Very heavy box. Ow. I, I should be using a knife, but this is all I could find. Cause I don't live here. I don't, I don't know where this stuff is. All right, let's see what's in here. Another big old piece of foam. All right. These are the main brackets or whatever you want to call them. I think, I think brackets is correct. 
that connect to the other pieces. So basically, the tabletop is going to go on top of these. That's number one. And this is number two. Okay. There you go. Very, very heavy. Boom. And shout out to Front Page Tech. I actually... I actually owe you a text message. I don't I don't know if you watch my vlogs. But I'm pretty sure he accidentally threw away one or two of these pieces. Because in my opinion, Autonomous shouldn't put them on the side. They should they should put it more towards the middle because the white blends in with the white foam. Um so I don't know. I'm pretty sure he said he didn't see one of those pieces. This is another piece. Actually, that's the very, very bottom. And these are adjustable, which my mom will definitely be using. Because again, these floors are quite slanted. All right, I'm out of breath because I'm out of shape. And this is the control box. Actually, I didn't even see the wording. There you go. I was exactly correct. Control box. So all the motors plug into here. And then um, you control them via the front thing. Where's that? Here's the power cable that goes to that. Here it is. I love it. You can have up to four uh, presets. Currently, I use three of them. And a lot of screws. Wait until Dad sees this. He's going to be like, are you kidding me? It's a lot of hardware, guys. This is not a cheap desk. It's a quality desk. And perhaps one of my favorite parts, definitely one of my favorite parts, I should say, the cable tray. One of the best cable trays, if not the best cable tray, I've ever used in my life because one, it's included with a desk, which you rarely see. And two, it's so wide, so, so wide. I guarantee you mom doesn't need half of this, but the more, the better when it comes to cable management, right? And I think that's it. Make sure you don't throw away anything. And of course, they give you a full parts list right here and instructions. I'll put that over there. So, uh, cool. Good start to the vlog, guys. Good start. And I just saved mom and dad about 20 minutes, so not bad. All right, there you have it. Everything is unpackaged. Everything is properly thrown away. Recyclables on the recyclables. Styrofoam next to the trash. Do not recycle styrofoam. It's terrible, terrible for the environment. But sometimes you got to include it in your packaging, right? Okay, so here's the desk. I did notice a very small cluster of cracks. Nothing that's going to affect it right there. Thankfully, it is in the back of the desk and it's not going to cause any issue or, you know, be an eyesore. So we locked out there. But hey, I don't really blame Autonomous. I mean, if anything, it may have just happened during shipping. But anytime you ship something so large and so heavy, you know, there's always that chance of something happening like that. But, you know, like I said, thankfully, it's in the back. It's so small. Honestly, you're not even going to see it because it's going to be, you know, up against the wall. And well, to be realistic, it's not something that would even bother me. Typically, I'm very, very picky with that. But yeah, we lucked out there. Just a minor, minor defect. Not a huge issue. Okay. Um, that guy's still over talking to mom and dad about their bathroom. It's already 730. Pizza City tends to close pretty early. Like as early as 8. So hopefully we go soon. Because I am hungry. I am so hungry. But cool. I, I just saved mom and dad like 30 to 40 minutes of work. So that's done. Boom. You gotta love it. <sighs> and now I just wait. All right. Many moments later, the freaking bathroom guy is still here next door. Which we didn't plan on. And I wasted essentially two hours of my time just sitting around down there, which, not gonna lie, annoys me a little bit. This is why I don't like contractors. Just gonna throw that out there. I know we didn't plan on, but it is what it is. Anyway, like if I knew it was gonna take this long, then I would have brought my MacBook because there's a very important email that I've been wanting to write for a few days now. And I just wanted to put the idea out there. And if somebody wants to get me going with it, I'll talk about it later, then so be it. Um, anyway, yeah, I should have brought my MacBook. I should have, but it's whatever. I was just sitting around downstairs and I'm like, David, why not get started on building? Here we go. This is what I have so far. 
this took about an hour, uh, which isn't too bad. So this is the frame. Um, I don't know about the width yet. I, I, it's it's really hard to measure the correct width on this side and this side. Obviously, it's not going to be this narrow. This is going to be a little wider than this. Uh, but I can't really measure it until we put the desktops on top. And I'm not going to do that yet because I definitely want mom and dad's help with that. The first time I did it by myself, and it was extremely tiring going back and forth, it was so heavy to the point where I was laying on my back and pushing the whole desk in the air with my feet, you know, my legs just pushing upside down and trying to move the desk by myself. But this time I'm gonna have a little bit of help, which I'm grateful for. And it's not even my desk, but um, hey, at least I did most of the work for the pretzels, right? Oh, and by the way, pizza's canceled. Um, we just took too long. Strasburg Pizza's closed. Pizza City's closed. Like everything around here closes around eight o'clock, which I think is ridiculous. Now, a lot of the places on the strip, I call it the strip, you know, 30, are open. But mom did say there is a plan C, stay tuned. So I'm hoping they're surprising me and ordering Red Robin because I mentioned Red Robin and the fact that I haven't had it in a while. But I don't know. I don't know. I mean, <laughs> we're getting to the point where it's so late. And if they did order already, then the food should be here soon. It's 921, guys. And by the way, shout out to Brad for making my video of the day, uh, Tesla Tesla Model 3 Accessories Part 1 on your website. Thank you very much, dude. I appreciate that. But okay, this is as much as I can do right now because that's the big part. That's the heavy part. And I just want to make sure I align it right. So, hey, I just saved my parents a lot of time. So at least there's that. Okay, let's go next door and hopefully we're going to eat soon. I cannot believe the contractor is still here. Dude, come on. Hello, parentals. Hi, Finally. David. Sorry. It's okay. Oh, yes. What did you get? Guys, Anything complete good? change in plan of plans. Just complete change. No, I really don't give a crap. I'm having one. We went to Rudders. Don't do it on the thing. It's 10 o'clock. Very late dinner for these two. For me, it's whatever, you know? It's mm. fine. Mm. They have excellent mozzarella sticks. Excellent. I forgot to take your credit card. Take the debit. Mmm. The sauce. Mm-hmm. It's so good. Thank you. Fine. Mm, mmm, look at all the sauce. So guys, I was clearly in the mood for a burger, and I wasn't gonna let that <laughs> escape me. So I got a burger melt, which is which is actually really good. Have you had one at Rudder's? Yeah, just never on rye. Unfortunately, they're out of white bread. She's is always out of. I'm sorry, Rudder's is always out of something. But this 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 looks good. By the way, this is the weekend vlog, Mom. Oh, it is? I'm just starting today. Oh, hi, weekend vlog. Hi, weekend vlog. Hi, weekend vlog. It's vlog. Look at this, Dad. Dad, patty melt. Is that any good? I'm going to try right now. I mean, I've had it on white bread before. Look at bluebird. This is yours. Oh, Steak. bacon, by the way. Good Lettuce, job. tomato, bacon. Do you want this open? Pickles. No. Ketchup, oh, mayo, mustard. I'll save it for something else. Mm. That's interesting. Very good. Yeah. Oh, dude, that looks good. It's very good. The bacon looks good. Mm-hmm. Crispy bacon. It's messy, Dave. Yeah. Thanks, David. Thank you. What are you talking about? Why is there mulch all over? <laughs> hey, look, there's mm. mulch on stuff. Why is there mulch on things, David? Look, there's mulch everywhere. Look at my Mom had an accident. It's dark outside, clearly, because it's 10 o'clock at night. And we were walking up the driveway, and I turned around and looked at the kitty, because the kitty was in the kitchen. And all of a sudden, I just fell in a mound of mulch on my knees. I was on my knees on the mulch. It was funny. It was funny. David! And I am home. Good times tonight with La Familia. Of course, things didn't go nearly as planned. Between that guy being there for three hours, nearly four hours, not getting the desk built, and having just a random dinner at Rudder's, which I'm okay with, you know? I'm not a complainer. It is what it is, life goes on. But, with that said, the plan is to finish the desk tomorrow, manana. I'm tired, guys. It's already 11 o'clock. Normally, I would, yeah, this milk goes, this whole, Two milk rule is really working out. Seriously, it is. So, so much more organized. 
What was I gonna say? I don't, I don't know what I was gonna say. Anyway, it's 11 o'clock. I plan to preview the pages only of Lockety Vlog, which is normally this. It, it feels so weird to even say that in the weekend vlog. So weird, because I very rarely start the vlog on a Thursday. You know, unless I'm at like Driftwood or whatever. But uh, now, I'm, I'm gonna preview the vlog. Play Fortnite beforehand for a little bit, just, just to practice in creative mode. My building does need work. Um, so with that said, got a lot of stuff to do tonight. Not including Fortnite, that's not work to me, but yeah. Previewing the vlog, lots of email, purging, all that stuff. So I'll see you tomorrow. Happy Friday, everybody. This feels weird. Man, this, this weekend vlog. I mean, hopefully it's gonna be interesting, but my, my schedule's like completely different than usual. Anyway, guys, happy Friday. I hope you're enjoying your day. The weekend vlog is live. It's about like 40 something minutes long. Pigeons only vlog is live. It's just under two hours long. Thank you guys so much for your support and joy. I have an upcoming sponsorship that I'm gonna be working on with GoSun. They make a bunch of electronics, including this smart bedside lamp. Basically, they gave me this huge list of products and I get to choose a product that I get to feature in my video. And while well, I get paid for it, so that's cool. Guys, content creation is no joke. You can make content and make a living out of it. Obviously, I mean, I don't, I don't want to tell you that, but I, I'm, I'm just saying that because I was thinking about my sponsorship opportunities um, lately, and I just want you to know that I truly am grateful for the spot I am um, in this whole YouTube universe. I mean, I am living proof. You don't need millions of subs or 500,000 subs or 200,000 subs to actually make it um, in, in this world. People with less subscribers than I have make more money than I do with certain things. It just comes down to your niche or your niche, whatever you like to do. Um, so, GoSund, thank you very much. You're probably never gonna see this video, uh, but this will be featured in an actual sponsorship video. And speaking of sponsorship, I'm uploading a huge sponsorship video in relation to Clean My Mac. That is going to be awesome. It's gonna help me out so much. I am so, so grateful for these opportunities. And not only that, last night I received quite the exciting email at 5.11 in the morning, just as I was going to bed, which obviously made it harder for me to sleep, but I've been looking to form a partnership with this company for the longest time. I reached out to them months ago. They basically turned me down saying that I have to have a certain number like view count and stuff like that compared to other creators, which I understand, completely understandable. But ironically, now they're reaching out to me. So once again, I'm living proof, guys. You don't have to reach out to companies. I mean, obviously it helps, but sometimes companies will naturally reach out to you when they're ready. And that's so cool. I'm so, so excited to read the agreement and see what's gonna come out of this, uh, because this could be huge. This could be absolutely huge. And I got a contact for that very, very important um, email that I referenced last night. So I think I might start drafting that email today. If that comes out to anything, that could be life-changing for me and my work and my gaming content, but we'll see. That I'm not gonna get my hopes up. That's like a small percentage kind of chance, but at least I have these opportunities going for me. I gotta clean my Mac, I got GoSund, and now I have this new email. Uh, that I'm gonna respond to like right now. But first I think I'm gonna have more coffee. I mean, there, there's some in here, but. Mm. Guys, sit right here for a second. This is driving me crazy. I just deleted the email that I need to respond to. Undo, undo. <laughs> I, was, I was in the wrong app. Let me get a tesla.com. And guys, I wanna clear something up. Last week, and speaking of my delivery, I checked on it today. I check on it every day. That's like the first thing I do after my coffee now and all that stuff. Tesla's been all over the place with their delivery. Now it says three to 13 weeks, but it doesn't even say after ordering. So is that three to 13 weeks from now or three to 13 weeks? from ordering but tomorrow it could say like five to seven weeks from ordering so i don't know their ordering has been all over the place i don't know what to believe so instead i'm just gonna patiently wait man can you blame me though i'm getting impatience but you gotta be patient this could actually be pretty cool a bedside lamp 
I love lights, so obviously that's why I chose this. My next goal is to design my thumbnail for my next What's On My Mac video. This one I'm excited about. It's over 20 minutes long. <laughs> It's longer than an office episode. That's, that's how I like to usually reference things. And this time I go deeper into detail in regards to how I manage my files, my folders. I even show up my desktop wallpaper with a link below. Not on this vlog, but in this video. And of course I talk about my docs and Photoshop and all that stuff, so. It's a fun video, it's a fun video. Stay tuned for it. But because it's sponsored, it's not gonna be out for probably, what, like two weeks? That is a lot of mac and cheese. There's no way I'm gonna eat all this. No way. Not because I can't fit it all in me, but because I don't need this much, if you know what I'm saying, you know? It's just way, way too much food. At least in terms of this. Plus, I believe we're doing Applebee's for dinner. I'm not the biggest fan of Applebee's, but I ain't gonna turn down a free dinner, you know? I don't know what I'm getting. Maybe just a chicken fingers platter? I don't know. Applebee's, in my opinion, it's a little boring. I don't know why they don't have fajitas on their menu. Seriously, if they had fajitas, I would get it. And I would order a burger, but I just had a burger last night from um, Rudder's actually. Rudder's actually makes a pretty good burger. Now to be fair, I got the burger melt, which is better than their typical burger. A burger melt man, oh man, oh man. You gotta try it, baby. It was messy. Hi Z. Why do you wanna go outside, dude? Why? No, you're staying in for a bit, okay? There you go. A nice, simple lunch. Yeah, I love it. Then I'm gonna get back to work. That's the thumbnail I have so far. What's on my Mac? Then I'm gonna have more coffee. I've only had one coffee today. Madness, I know. I don't have butter in the house, because I'm dumb. So it's not as flavorful. But at the same time, I'm glad I don't have butter. So that means it's not as unhealthy, you know? I'm just trying to cut back in certain areas. Yo, I just had a funny encounter on Twitter. So, me being the big gamer I am, I like to defend games that I care about, you know? Obviously, that's that's what we do as human beings. We naturally, our, our instincts naturally kick in and we're, we're gonna defend it, you know? In this case, Apex. Well, this one guy was like, Apex is dead. Nobody even plays it. I was like, really? Nobody plays Apex. I have instant cues pretty much all the time. Please, think before you post, or something like that, I said. Then we kind of go back and forth, blah, blah, blah. I was like, all right, all right let me uh, check out this guy. He's, he's kind of douchey. He's giving off these vibes. So I go to his Twitter feed, and he has a sick pug in the family. He had to be rushed to the vet the other day um, because of three slipped discs or something like that. So I was like, in all seriousness, yeah, I hope your pug is okay. So I told him that, you know? And then he's like, where's your donation, David? I was like, dude, you're such a dick. Here I am, and this isn't stuff I said on Twitter, like, here I am being nice to the guy as a fellow pet owner, as a fellow dog and cat lover and whatever. I've been there many times when a, you know, a loved one is sick, a pet is sick. So I went out of my way to give him my condolences. I mean, the, the dog's not dead, thank God. But like, I'm over here trying to be the nice guy. He's like, where's your donation? So, you know what I did? I said, dude, you're such a dick. But after that, I stopped. The conversation ended. I went to his GoFundMe page and I sent him, and I'm not gonna say anything, but my name is on his GoFundMe page. So, I hope he sees it. Now, why am I saying this? Take it from me. Be the bigger man, do the right thing, and just shut up, you know? I don't need to go back and forth with this person on Twitter, but hey, I just contributed to his GoFundMe page. I'm done, I'm done. I am curious to see if he says anything now. So the guy I was telling you about before with the pug, he responded, thank you David for your donation. Then he did the laughing emoji. I don't know what he means by that, but I simply said, you're welcome. I just drafted this email I've been teasing. I don't have any kind of expectations, um, but I just wanna put my name out there, you know? If it ever comes to that, I will happily sign, you know? Well, sir. And I did respond to that very exciting email. The thing is, they always respond to emails like <laughs> late at night, like two, three o'clock in the morning. 
So I'll probably get that response while I'm streaming. God, I hope it's good. Oh baby, that could be a really, really exciting partnership, guys. And I submitted my Clean My Mac um, video. So hopefully they approve that by next week. Wow, there's a lot of people live on YouTube right now. This is what I'm talking about. Streaming on YouTube is so great because you don't have to leave YouTube, you know? For Twitch, you have to know to go to Twitch. But YouTube, look, I'm just casually on my channel and I see all these people live over here. So let's check out Talosif Tele Tech? Talosif Tech. I'm glad you do too, simple. Or is it Talosif so Tech? I don't know. But yeah, this guy's pretty cool. Uh, the, the whole I like him. All right. That's what we have so far, guys. We're getting there. It's a lot of work. I'm going outside barefoot. You said you're gonna level it. Don't even care. You can level it with the leg, leg things? Yeah. So you can, okay, good. good. Do you have a level up here? Uh, I don't know. I think mom has a level. We're gonna try to get this table level. Well, not try. Oh, God, wait. my phone's upstairs. I almost fell. That's okay. My phone's upstairs. I don't need it. Amazon. We're gonna get some. That's all right. We got, we got Red Robin. Mr. Pants. Hunter Pants. How are you doing? How are you doing? Sweet. I keep I keep thinking we got Red Robin. Oh, we did. I mean Applebee's. Sorry, Applebee's. Ironically, the one time you get Red Robin, I don't feel like a burger. Because I just had a burger last night. I'm sorry, Red Robin. Trust me, I I'm a big fan of your Royal Red Robin, whatever it's called, with, with the egg. Oh my God, it's incredible. It's like a breakfast sandwich. Who wants to get Hunter Scoop? So I got, I got, I got cluck and fries. All right. Damn, yeah, yes, don't forget about autumn. I know, I know. I'm going to All right. Well, I don't need it, hon, if that's the case. No, I don't know. It's like six Hi, Autumn. Oh, Is look at our guys. Look at our food. Autumn. <gasps> Who's got wet paws? Hi, baby. Are you okay? I'm going to go pee. I will never ever forget you. Oh. Ever heard meow? When she tried the meow? Yeah. She's like, <laughs> I love you, baby. I miss you. Cookie. I bet she's got pretzels. Oh, dude. They look I'm going to say it again. Isn't it weird I didn't get a burger? Oh What's, my God. What sauce is that? Oh, wow. Oh God! Mmm. Can you help? Can I put my neck in the corner? Oh! Red Robin has incredible burgers, as Wait, they why should. Why are there so many things? <laughs> Wait, what is all of this? Oh, bottomless fries. I guess they give you more. That's Dang. insane. Way too many fries. This <laughs> <laughs> is too many. It's a lot of fries. I'm not eating all of them. Bob, I can't eat pizza on a diet. I, I still have fries. Please tell me their chicken tenders are good. I never had their chicken tenders. Here we go. If you don't like it, can I have some my half of my breakfast? No, I have everything. Mmm. Good tender. Good tender. Crispy. Mmm. Cheese and crackers. Here. And I got there. ranch. No regrets. Have some, David. Thank you. Hot. Mm. Your pretzel's hot. <laughs> what cheese is this? It's like an orange cheese. Mm -hmm. It's good though. We've got ketchup, seasoning. What's that for? Mmm. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Mama. Dad's missing out on these. Hey, Autumn. You want to fry? Oh. Autumn, open up. Ah. A little dark humor. You see a paw? Mmm. I, I don't want to do it now. I'm greasy. It's a cute little paw you ever saw. Alright. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Moments later, guys. And my dinner was great. Red Robin, well done. And shout out to the Strasbourg vet. Look at this. Guys, they actually signed it themselves. Just saying I'm so sorry for your loss. All that stuff. And Autumn's paw. Isn't that sweet? There's even some fur in there. Poor Odd, rest in peace. And of course, everyone watching this vlog, thank you so much for your kind words. Really, really appreciate it. She will always be remembered. Oh, we're talking about Autumn.
Yeah, I'm vlogging her. I was saying, that's, that's really nice how they actually signed that. I know. That's so cool. That came separately. Props to them. That didn't come with that. That came in the mail today. Yeah, but still, props to them for that, you know? Mm -hmm. Can I maybe get a picture of her? Yeah. You know what's horrible? I, I have one just like Hi. this that blinks, and I still don't have a picture in it. Oh, I tried to give you a picture. <laughs> I have some. You gave me a picture of Mitzi by accident. I'm like, dude, that's not... <laughs> Mom's a little slow, guys. Yeah. All right, great dinner. Yo, way, way too many fries with Robin. I don't like wasting food. Actually, that's not too bad. Yeah. That's not. That's not that many fries. Although I, I like threw how my. They gave us more to say I bought them with fries. Yeah. Although I, I, I threw out some of my fries because I wanted to have the fries in the toaster oven, which, which were very good. Thank you guys for dinner. You're welcome. All right, let's go back next door, build that desk, then hit up that Rudas for some coffee. Guys, we did it. So about halfway through, we, fa we we unfortunately found out Dad mounted the frame the wrong way. Okay, so we had to we 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 had to we had to do double HL hockey sticks. Double <laughs> HL. I did something backwards because Mom's okay. First of all, here's a desk. Why? It's very nice, very very nice. No no no. So I started saying. She just said Mom's is different than mine, so I got confused. My long way's over here, my short way's on this side. But Mom did it the opposite. Actually, I think, wait, did Mom do it the way Autonomous wants to, or no? Or we did the opposite? I don't know. Put the camera on top of it. The camera? You have to move this in oh, place, too. Just put it, like, right here? No, the other camera on the uh, wind windowsill. What? The camera on the windowsill. With the green light on. All right, I'm check it out, way. guys. Oh. Hold on, let's see how low it goes. Hello? Just in case mom gets like really Hello. short someday. Hello. It's good for kids. <laughs> Look how low it goes. You, you, can, you can literally sit down and work. So mom has her program on too. Oh, I need to get another this one is her standing stairs. height. Dave. Here we go, ready? Dave, I need to get another one of these at um... So it's going to number two place. now. Okay, what's it called? You need some of the back support. The Magnolia place. What's that and called? that's 40.5 inches up. And you can see the display here. Your display might be different than mine. I could have sworn my text is green. I don't know. But yeah, very nice, Autonomous. I love it, love it, love it. Look at that cable management. So good. Of course, it's not done yet. But the cable management things that they give you are so nice. And mom said I could take the extras home. I'm excited. Love these. Good job, guys. I do nothing. Thank you, Dad, for your help. Good job. Good job. Definitely their most complex desk, you know? Um, mine, mine in my gaming room was so much more simple because it's just a rectangle. I don't think it was that complex. Yeah, they it's did, not. It's they not. Did, they did leave out a major step. It's just a little confusing. If yeah. Brackets, braces on. For some reason, the manual. Oh God, those are my knees. Did you hear that? For some reason, <laughs> my knees just exploded. For some reason, they don't include this part in the manual, and I think that's why Front Page Tech accidentally yeah, threw his right away. There. Maybe. Um, but yeah, Actually, I think maybe. Oh. Oh, that's the highest it goes. It's aligned. But anyway, this part for some reason is not in the manual, so make sure you do install these. Because th these are the braces slash supports that support where the desk splits. So, very nice. Mom, enjoy the best desk you will ever use. Love it. I really want one. Get one, Dad. I'd probably get the smaller one for my office. What, like just a rectangle? Yeah. Yeah, get it. Yeah, that's what I'd get. I have no room though. Let's lower it. Let's let's put it in place for her. Okay. And guys, it is already 10:45 p.m. Tonight's stream is going to be I'm late. Get, I'm gonna get another chair. But it's all good, there. baby. It's all good. I'm, I'm See you in a bit. <gasps> Night nice, zero. He was so happy to see me outside. <laughs> I know I'm late tonight. It's a late night. It's a late night. <laughs> You good boy? Yeah, look at him guys. Such a good boy. Hi! What are you? <laughs> so funny. You're so funny. Hi Maui. What's up, dude? Guys, it's already 1122. I gotta go. I'm gonna get my shower. Just go right on stream. Late night tonight. But you know what? I stay up all night anyway, so it's not really gonna make a difference. I'll see you tomorrow morning. Oh man, what a night. What a night. Yo, you ever have one of those nights of gaming where you just 
completely sucking left and right. The first half of our night was just bad. We were just getting bad drops in Fortnite pretty much all night. Uh, but then the second half of the night, it just clicked, you know? We went from zero wins to three wins. Yeah, three wins isn't a lot, but we we played very well towards the end, and that's all I care about. We got to get those wins, guys. Uh, but, yeah, Fortnite, thank you so much, Logan and Chelsea. Great, great games tonight. GG's. Um, especially, oh my god, I had the winning play at the very end. First of all, my building is getting so much better. I'm still not good, but it's getting a lot better. Um, anyway, I pulled out the, what's it called, the Marksman 6 shooter or something like that. It's recently back as of like, I think a week or two ago. Uh, I just whipped it out and I just happened to be aiming perfectly. It was like, boom, and got the win. Really, really good feeling. Unfortunately, YouTube does not have a clips feature on my channel yet, but um, I can download my VOD and just clip it out myself. Uh, so I think I'm going to do that shortly while I wait for my DoorDash to arrive. Yes, I ordered McDonald's, guys. Yep. I got that McDonald's coming. I got a big breakfast with hotcakes and um, the sausage burrito meal as well. So, yeah, I have a lot of food, but some of it's for tomorrow. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it's it's 6.50. But, honestly, I'm not ready to go to bed. My my typical routine is I sign off on the for my stream, but I, I usually can't fall asleep for another hour or so. So I figured... Why not get some food in my stomach? Uh, anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Tonight was a good night, and we're going to do it all over again, technically later tonight, Saturday night. I believe Logan and I are going to start out with Knockout City, which is a new game all about dodgeball. I feel like I've talked about this in a vlog already. I'm not sure. It looks like the kind of game that could be boring um, after, like, an hour or two, so we're just going to try it out, see how it is, and then jump into Fortnite. All right, with that said... Um, fine, I'll check in with you when my food gets here, because God forbid I don't show you my food, right? Moments later. Unfortunately, I could not edit the YouTube video because it's not finished processing. So I killed some time, took a shower, laid in bed for a little while, and now it's almost 8 o'clock. McDonald's definitely took their time today, but that's okay. I ain't gonna complain. I ain't gonna complain, you know? Oh, okay, let's see what we got here, guys. I don't think I've ever gotten a big breakfast with hotcakes before. Okay, I need two hands. This is rocket science after all, come on. I mean, I'm, I'm not even insanely hungry, but I wanted to have food in my system, you know? I need food in my system after streaming for seven hours. Well, that doesn't look good. I think the coffee spilled. Yeah, coffee spilled quite a bit. That's okay. Actually, I might even put in a small complaint because that's that's a mess. Yeah, there's coffee like spilling out of the bag. Yeah, look at this. It just, I don't know. It's not a big deal. Obviously, it's okay. Most of it's there. But DoorDash does, does care about quality service. So I'll put in a small complaint and probably get a small credit. Anyway, here we go, baby. Here we go. Wait, please tell me they didn't mess this up. This should be hot cakes. I ordered a... Oh, McDonald's. Why are you guys... I don't understand. I don't understand. I ordered hot cakes. <sighs> yes, look, I ordered hot cakes and they, they, they gave me syrup. I'm not missing anything, am I? Am I just blind? No, McDonald's is just dumb sometimes. It is what it is, honestly. This is enough food, but this definitely isn't all the food. It's okay, I'm gonna put in my complaint. So I'm missing the hotcakes and I'm missing my extra sausage. Um, so, looks like I'm gonna get some credit back and I'll use that on lunch next week. Hey, there's a good side to everything. Honestly though, this is enough food for before bed. Eggs, sausage, a biscuit, two hash browns. And these I'm gonna save for tomorrow. So yeah, I'll have this right now. But that goes to show you, as much as I love McDonald's, they mess up quite often. It is what it is, you know? It is what it is. That sucks though. That really sucks. I love their hotcakes. Their hotcakes are so good. This I've never seen before. Strawberry preserves? All right. Hey, regardless, I'm so excited to eat this. So, so excited. 
I'll see you guys later today. Happy Saturday, everybody. What's up, Maui? Hey. Your toy? The toy that Zero was just playing with? Go get it. Go get it. No? I think Zero's behind the couch. Yeah, you can barely see him. Guys, happy Saturday. I hope you're enjoying your day. It is six o'clock and I'm just now getting my day started. No regrets. I went to bed around like 9 a.m. McDonald's was okay. Like it, it was still satisfying, but it wasn't filling without the hotcakes. Thankfully, I put my complaint in and I got like a $9 credit, which is more than what the hotcakes cost. So it is what it is, you know? Hey, everything works out. Hey Z, he is hyper right now. What are you doing? Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Go. <laughs> what are you doing, Z? You chilling? All right, enjoy. <laughs> Love that cat. Maui. Did you knock your prism over? Hi. Here you go. Play with it. Play with it. Good boy. The cats love that thing. They absolutely love it. Anyway, guys. Oh, man. I'm going to have my coffee. I'm going to watch this show called Extent or Extant. It's E X T A N T on Paramount Plus. The writing is kind of weird, hence why I see it only lasted for two seasons. It came out in like 2014, apparently. But it's entertaining enough to the point where I'm, I'm curious to see what happens next. Maui. Chill, dude. Um, also, I checked on my Tesla. I finally have a tight date range. June 12th through June, June 21st. Guys, that's like two weeks from now. Two weeks. So if all goes well, I will have my Model 3 in about two weeks. Stay tuned, which means I need to buy more accessories. I'll probably do that this week because I need to make a part two accessories video. This show, it has such potential, but it's so cheesy. But it's good enough to keep going, you know? And I hate myself for that. Guys, look at Zero. He's been chilling in my lap for the past half hour. He's such a good cat. Of course, he woke up now that the camera's on. Hey, Z. Cookie? Oh, Cookie. We can barely see you. You getting up? I'm not leaving for sheets for like another hour. So I'm gonna make another cup of coffee. She's like, oh God. I'm so lazy on the weekends. Oh man. Oh, but I work hard during the week, I do. Just ask my patrons if you need proof, all right? If you need proof. Oh. I'm actually going to jump into Knockout City on Xbox now. Um, that way I can play it on PC later. Just, just to get a feel. In theory, it's better on PC, you know, mouse and keyboard flick shots with the mouse, but at least I can get a general understanding of the game. I love Game Pass. Look at this. Game Pass is just incredible. I love it. And no, I still don't have a PS5. Eventually I'll get one, but honestly, I I'm, I'm in no rush. Really, I'm not. Like, Xbox is killing it lately with Game Pass. They're adding new games like pretty much every week at this point. It's absolutely incredible. Hey, let's check this game out. I'll let you guys know how it is. And I'm home. But you would have never known that I left because I didn't even vlog outside the house. It's just that kind of day. I literally went straight to sheets and back. Yeah, yeah. Yo, Knockout City is legit. It's legit. Can it get repetitive after a while? Yes, but not in the sense where I thought it was going to be boring after like an hour or two because I literally kept wanting to play. Because it's so much fun, and I'm so, so excited to play tonight on stream. It's already 9.30, guys, and I'm just now getting dinner. Not very healthy of mine. Um, not very healthy of me. You guys got to keep me in check, all right? Anyway, I got, uh, I got food. Sheets, what's with these little bags? It, it doesn't matter, but I just miss your other bag, you know? Oh my God, Sheets, you forgot my marinara sauce. I, I can't win lately. I just can't win. 
As long as this has sauerkraut and chili, then I'm happy. Because last time they only gave me sauerkraut. All right, baby, all right, all right. Got them hot dogs and they are correct. They just forgot the sauce, I don't understand. I have ranch, and yes, I know, I know. I, sh I, should, I should check in the car. But that's just not who I am, you know? I put trust into these brands. Unfortunately, they do mess up on occasion. It is what it is. Let me check my giant condiment drawer. I gotta have a ranch in here somewhere, right? But this is all stuff from DoorDash. Now check the lights off. I'll find something. Also, I have decided to play Knockout City on my Xbox Series S. Uh, because it controls just fine, just fine. It might be better on PC, I'm not sure. But it is cross-play. So shout out to my dude Logan. We will be able to play tonight. Cross-play is amazing. Every game should support cross-play. Uh, so whether you're playing on PlayStation, Xbox, PC, or maybe Switch. Is it on Switch? I don't know. Hold on. Hey, Google. Is Knockout City on the Switch? I found a table on Wikipedia that probably has your answer. It was released for Microsoft Windows, Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One in May 2021. She's so smart. Uh, what do you uh, see? Hi. Hey. Oh, What's up, washed? Dad? Are they washed yet or no? <clears throat> oh, look at Jeff. Hi, Dad. Mm, mm, mm. Pants? How you doing? How's dinner? Omaha burgers? raw meat. I am too. You're good boy. You excited for driftwood? I am. What's up, mom? Hi. Hi. Thank you for dinner, mom. Two fillets. Oh, this is not done yet, but yo, check it out. We have an app pasta. We have an app meat sauce. I'm excited. We're the side of Texas toast, y'all. Which is right over her. I thought we had. All right, guys, check it out. I treated myself to something special for driftwood. I wanted a toy to play with. So I bought myself a drone. Between the money that Chase owes me on my drop shipping credit card, yeah, I use it for a personal purchase, but that's okay. Uh, plus the $48 of Amazon points that I have sitting in my Amazon account, thanks to my Chase card. Love that Prime card, it's so good. Use it, pay it off, boom, easy points. I treated myself to this. The Snapton SP7100 drone. No, it's not like a DJI drone or, or anything like that, but it's $224. Minus my discount, it cost me like, what, 80 or 90 bucks or something like that? Maybe even less than that. But anyway, this is a good drone for the price. It's got a brushless motor. Um, it's got 5G Wi-Fi transmission, 4K video. So I'll definitely be capturing some videos and putting them, on, putting them in the vlog. It's got GPS, which means it can find its way home. God forbid I lose connection or the battery's low. And it looks like a good quality drone for $225. It isn't bad. It's normally $340 according to Amazon, so it's like $115 off. I don't, I don't know if that's just like marketing or whatever. But pricing has come way, way down on drones, guys. So stay tuned. I'm excited. And this will be me in a week's time. Less than a week's time. So it's gonna be fun. Yo, I I haven't played with the drone in a while. So yeah, I mean, I wanted to treat myself to a decent drone, but not like anything too overly expensive because I'm in the process of being credit card debt free, which should be happening in like a week or two because I do not want to have any credit card debt when I pick up my Tesla. It's just, just a finance goal of mine. So stay tuned. It's gonna be fun. We're, we're just watching videos on it now. There you go, guys. Proof that mom cooks, I think, what, four or five times a year? Sunday. Hey, the hot is like cook. And even then, it's a really easy meal. You literally just put this in hot water. So, mom, well done. You know what's easy? <laughs> I'm kidding with you. I love you. Seriously, I'm very, very grateful to have such, such outgoing parents. <laughs> Moments later, guys. It's 9.18. Mom, excellent dinner. <gasps> Thank you. Thank you. A lot oh, of shoot, his nose white. Guys, a lot has changed. Yeah. I canceled my drone order. <laughs> Whoopsie, <sorry>. The <laughs> videos you watched. Go ahead, Dad. Tell them what happened. 
the drug kept toilet bowling. In other words, losing control. Spinning wider and wider. So then you watched another guy. In two different videos, yeah. Two different guys, same problem. Drone was canceled. I just can't take the chance of destroying someone's house at Driftwood. So I canceled it. Wait, was it ever confirmed canceled? I did. Oh, yeah, successful cancellation as of 826. Okay, thank you, Amazon, for making it so easy. I love Amazon. But. I have a list of drones here from this really popular drone guy. I don't, I don't, don't, I don't remember his name right now, but I'm gonna check him out again later. Like his videos and subscribe and all that stuff. I found four drones under three hundred dollars as of that video, three hundred dollars. Then I'm gonna research and get one of these in time for Driftwood. Uh. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> dear Lord, I'm keeping that in. All right, Dad's setting up his new speakers. Outdoor speakers, Dad? Hold on, yeah. For here. Hold on. <laughs> anyway, Mom, man? update on your desk. Guys, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? The desk I is nice, love too. It all. Thank you. You get it because you're beautiful? Thank you. Got him. No, but seriously, Mom. Yes. Tour time. Quickly, go. Hold on. Seriously, though, look at all this space you have. Your, look, your MacBook Air is way over there now, and you have all this space but for I have working. But I right now. That's okay. Okay, this is my computer area. Yeah, yeah. My ribbon. Cool. My collection of scissors. My chocolate tools. My brushes. David got me this for Mother's Day. Yep. For vlogging, maybe, yep. or streaming. Uh, for, for you, streaming. It's got a microphone with a dead cat, or as Mom calls it, a kitty cat. Uh -huh. LED light, which is very bright. We just, we just got to tighten this. I'm in the process of making a, um, what do you call this? A gnome. A gnome. A patriotic yeah. gnome. Yes, a patriotic gnome. Very cool. Ah. Seriously, Mom, I'm really, really glad you like your desk. Thank you. I love it. Very cool. Enjoy. I love it, love it, love it. Actually, I won't. Okay, I need to get this cut. What? I love you, Autonomous. Right. No, I was gonna, I was going to press your preset button. Oh, and those are Autonomous as well. I know! You actually have something I don't have. Sorry. Mom got one of these for Dad's free. Dad's gonna hang these up. That's why. One of these was free, thanks to my store credit that I yeah. earned from you guys. Thank you. Seriously, thank you for using my link and supporting my content. Yes, so, thank you. Yes, you're welcome. Thank you. Thank. Mom, Mom got two of those. Thing is, I want one, and currently I have $125 store credit. There you go. So I'm waiting until I have a little more, so I barely pay for one. Cause I could, I could use a filing cabinet for my office, you know. That's like one thing I don't have in my office right now. Really? Yeah, really. Why would I yeah, lie about that? And just like that, I'm home. Mm. I was at mom and dad's house a lot later than I usually am on Sundays. Guys, it's already 11.58 p.m. I gotta go. Yo, my dad and I legit got sucked into watching drone videos. The DJI Mavic Air 2. Yes, DJI, the same makers of my last camera. That drone goes an insane distance. This one kid sent his drone literally above the clouds and you could see the sun and beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And then this other guy sent it, I think what, like five or six miles away from his own house and it just kept going and going and absolutely going. And that motivated me. I will be getting a DJI drone at some point, at some point. I just can't justify the price. Now the Mavic Mini sells for 378, which is a really good price. But if I'm going DJI, I want most likely top of the line, you know? Uh, because for the time being, I did cancel my last drone order because I watched some videos. The drone didn't work out in terms of reviews it's just it wasn't very good the good news is i did buy this thanks to my dude a slim ny in the chat thank you so much for the very generous donations this this weekend on youtube thank you very much it says i really really appreciate that i figured why not put that money towards my drone so that way it doesn't really cost me that much you know so i ended up going with this one and it's a popular brand apparently this is the top of the line drone that you can buy in the budget category um I got this one, the Holy Stone HS720E. E standing for electronic because it does have EIS, which stands for electronic image stabilization, which is basically the same technology that my DJI um, camera had, my last camera, and actually what this one has, EIS, which translates to, for all you non-geeks out there, very stable video. 
So yes, I will be using this drone to record video for the vlogs this weekend. You know, this weekend coming up at uh, Driftwood. It's going to be so much fun, guys. So stay tuned. Um, and if I get comfortable enough with this drone and if I run into some extra money here and there, then maybe, yes, I'll treat myself to the DJI Mavic Air 2. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. But I'm just, I'm just trying to get back in the drones. And um, with us being outside more in the coming months, I figured... Why not get some toys for myself, you know? So it's gonna be a lot of fun for not only myself, but for you guys as well. So stay tuned. I cannot wait to use this drone. It's gonna be so good. And of course it is brushless. Um, so that's a huge plus. Anyway guys, I'm done. Thank you so much for watching this vlog. I still need to finish editing. I'm gonna be up so late tonight. But hey, what else is new, baby? What else is new? I hope you guys are enjoying your day, enjoying your night, wherever you are in the world. Thank you so much. And um, shout out to all those who served um, and will be serving our country. Um, really, really appreciate your sacrifice because, I mean, it's because of you that we can do what we do and say what we say and live our freedom. Anyway, let's just simplify all that with one sentence, one very powerful, simple sentence. I'm thankful to be an American. I really am. Guys, thank you so much. Have a great week ahead, and I will see you in either the pages only of Rockety Vlog or the next weekend vlog at Driftwood. Stay tuned. I'll see you then. Peace.